survivability and some of the slower supports, like if you hit him once with a nuke or something, uh, you like if you're slow. a CM and you Nova, yep. you actually won't catch him. Yeah, to do the frostbite, yeah. I, I think people are ganking Viper the wrong ways. Uh, the most common gank is using a smoke with CM or something like that, coming with Nova Ten a couple of right clicks. Remaining. Yeah, CM dies faster than the Viper in that case. But I think the best way to gank him is actually using the more traditional like Team Enchantress chant. Because if you look at Viper's pick. movement speed, it's like 280 or mm -hmm. 285. It is so easy to actually get a Centaur or a Furbog up to him. And you want to actually gank him with more physical damage than early game nuke damage, which is more of the traditional way of ganking. So. But that's it about Viper. We're gonna see Centaur, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be giving them a lot more space to do what they need to do. But if we look at Team Liquid, all three of their heroes have a lot of lockdown. Ten yeah, I'm not sure if Centaur is actually gonna be good in this game. I really like Centaur Bot. That combo is hilarious. Because you, you blink remaining. in and then Centaur ulties and you run at maximum speed back to your allies, or they run to you depending on Radiant the situation. Team like. pick. Okay. Okay, they have the brothers now. They only need Faces Void, and they have the three purple brothers. They're kind yeah. of similar. They right? banned Dazzle though. That, that seems kind of harsh. Like, what's wrong with Dazzle? Yeah, but it's not the same shade of purple. He's like purple pink. Or pink. Pinkle. Yeah, he, he accidentally Ten washed the colors wrong. You know what I mean? I like pinkle. Sometimes it's hard with the washing machine. <laughs> Seriously, like, my, my white t shirts aren't so white anymore. Like. It is. It's because I put my shirts with yours and then just like. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. Five seconds what a disaster. Now that's my secret. I don't actually buy shirts. I just put all together and I get new colors <laughs> every single time. <laughs> you put a gold block in with the Radiance one? Yeah. What a player. What a player. So, the Darks here for me is okay. I think it works because there's only really... Sure, there's a couple of disables on Sigma, but it's really hard for a Shadow Shaman to get into a fight Ten against Team Liquid's remaining. lineup. Like, you're going to have to worry about Flame Guard a little bit later and Invoker. Ion Shell, being able to surge away from Radiant things like Gale, just pick. surging to get into better position when you know the Centaur might be ulting soon or something like that, just getting yourself back to a safe spot, a guaranteed mech carrier. Uh, I think it's still a pretty good choice. I wouldn't be surprised to see them pick Visage, though, because Visage with Team Liquid would be devastating if you have an Exord Invoker, Safe Line Ember, you Nightmare, you Searing Chains, you Sunstrike, Dead Hero. Yep. The combo and with Sunshine, a yeah. Dark Seer and Ember Spirit, if you have Battle Fury and you vacuum them all in, they're yeah. all dead. Yeah, that's Ten true as well. Yeah, remaining. I mean, you could definitely put an Iron Shell Ember Spirit and with Flame Guard and Iron Shell when you slay a Fisting, it does a ton more damage. Remaining. I think Dark Seer is just a straight does up. Does that work? It yeah, it should does. work, yeah. yeah. It counts because when Team you hit somebody, Liquid's it's counting as you actually pick. being there. Yeah, mm, and not. also Dark Seer is a straight up counter to the Shadow Shaman Disable Suite, uh, if, in a sense. Like, if he shackles, Vacuum cancel the shackle. If he hexes somebody, well, you surge that unit and that unit just gets out of there. So, I think this Dark Seer is going to be a very, very good defensive and offensive offlane. And it looks like we're going to end a draft on a Life Sealer, which, against Bane, not sure if that's where you want to Ten be. Seconds, really? Like this well, is a, just a one core lineup coming out from Sigma, right? Yeah, but I think it's okay Five just because of Centaur. Ult. Like they're I mean, putting a, they're putting a lot of value into that skill. Right. What what if Team Liquid just get He's really greedy time. and say, hey, I'm going to do a support doom, huh. and uh, my support doom is going to shut down a life sealer. I think that would make their lineup pretty susceptible to pushing. Like that's true. You're yeah. going to have like words. You're going to have mass serpent wards. Could be a bit dangerous, I think, um, to go that greedy. Okay, here's my thought right now. Because the supports for Sigma are Venomancer and uh, Shadow Shaman. And they have a Dark Seer probably in the same lane. Ten seconds. Should mm. you actually put the Venomancer in that lane, or actually should just rotate and try to get something going on Five top with the Venomancer in the center, which is by themselves a pretty decent combination? It is. It is pretty good. And they are good. I think Bruno might have a point there. Because. Message Bane alone, right? Like, if it was against a solo offlaner, if you Nightmare, it's almost a guaranteed kill. Again, assuming it's an Exord Invoker because just the burden you have. But if there's a second person there, you can never set up that combo, basically, unless the Ember Spirit gets, like, a slight of fist off and then a Searing Change or something like that, right? So mm -hmm. it could throw a bit of a wrench into the works, plus it allows Poss to get all the pulls. But if you do that, you're pretty much guaranteeing that Bulba's going to get huge and he'd be able to stop the Life Stealer from getting farm. So I think if you're valuing um, maybe potentially keeping the Centaur a little bit Prepare safer, you could do battle. that. But if I were them, I would just make sure that we just try lane bottom and keep the Dark Seer as low level as possible for as long as possible. I mean, he could always just go to the jungle, yeah. right? But And then the rotate. Let's assume he doesn't want to do that because he wants to ion shell the creep wave nonstop to make farming on the life stealer just hell. Sometimes I get a Quilling Blade if I'm against Darkseer. What do you think of that? When you're against Darkseer? Yeah. Just so you can kill the Ion Shell yeah. pretty faster? I think it's okay. 
I think if you have like um, a quelling blade and you, or get an early Midas, which can also be good, just a Midas the creep. Oh, I guess you can technically only do that what, like every <laughs> three or four creep blades. Yeah. And I never have that much money as well. Yeah. Because I'm dying constantly. <laughs> Doom with the Midas though against Darkseer. Oh. oh yeah. Nom nom nom. No no no. The, the real thing is actually Helm of Dominator. Uh. But the cool one that is like nine I mean, billion. By the way, I thought they fixed creep. dominating enemy creeps and being able to use it to backdoor. But yeah, they yeah, they did. They, they did. did. Are you sure? Yes. yes. They, they Maybe it's just coincidence. Uh, Maybe the creeps were really close uh, enough. Uh, AI said that recently. Yeah. In our patch log analysis, which. Yeah. Uh, which you should have checked if you wanted to know the secrets the of 681. Begins. 12. Dude, I don't have time to listen to a two hour patch analysis. Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. See, no, she knows. 20,000 20, people had time yeah. for that. That's actually one of the other Swedish <laughs> phrases I know. What, what was it? Ingen ting falla ha. That's pretty good. Ain't that no sounded pretty okay, Swedish. Sounded legit to me. It's completely oh, wrong. What does it mean? Yeah, I know. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Ah. So I know. Is I there actually like a direct translation? word ain't because that's not a word no it's it's not does not have time do not have time here comes the level one smoke gank on the middle with a double damage on way two. Uh oh uh, here comes a grape chill the oh, right click is going to come through they do not have cold snap just yet it's going to be all the right click damage and they're not going to get the kill oh, dota demon tanking oh the tower wouldn't uh, you just like get nightmare and stack like on top of him that's and then... what i thought yeah, that to move closer yeah <laughs> He wants he wants a brain sap. I mean, yes, he got bro. the brain sap. I guess worth it, right? <laughs> nope. That was a bit weird. I thought like no matter what, you should get nightmare, because they were close enough to nightmare and they could have just like repositioned, like put somebody in the trees. Like yeah, you'll take a couple of tower shots, but you could, you could probably get the kill. But how can you regen all your life if you don't have brain sap? He has tangos, man. Oh, but he might actually go down here. Akira comes a level two. Cold snap. Fata dropping low. He's out of regen, cause or at least for 20 seconds. That sure tango cannot be used. Well, that's not delay his bottom. Jesus. Runner almost, almost just died. Is I Demon mean, gonna pick out the courier? He's looking for it. Like if Demon does, he'll see it. He will definitely see it. Not Demon 100%. so good. Not the shark bark. Demon so oh. good. Matt's gonna be so pissed. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gonna get the kill. I'm first. Uh, uh, one hit. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, please. Oh, oh, no. What's he doing? He, he tried gonna... to go for the brain sap on Fata because I he saw how low he was instead of hitting the courier twice. He should have had that. Some obviously a cake and cakes, you know what I mean? You can't yeah, have your have cake that. and eat it too, Shane. What a life. Could've won the game right there. Yeah. If he had Nightmare, he could've nightmared Fata, killed him with just a Nightmare, and then killed the courier too. I would've died. Because Nightmare is was... HP removal. No, he yeah, would've yeah, died. No, would it? He would've died. Was he sure, that yeah. low? I yeah. don't... He had like 70 or 80 HP. And it does 80 damage or so. Well, it's HP removal and it sleeps for five seconds or four seconds. Yeah, so it's 80. Yeah, that would have been close. Whatever, man. I'm gonna say it would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, Demon didn't get the curry kill nor the first blood, but now he's hiding right. in the bushes. He wants to curry again. I don't know again. what the point of this is. He it's even gonna... dropped the ward behind. Oh like... man, is it really going back mid again? Um, Shark well, Bark. He has no. 20 seconds. Oh, no, it's got the bottle on it too. Bop, Shark bop, Bark, bop. please. That little tongue, no one saw oh, it coming. No. Oh, demon! No! Oh, what a joke! <laughs> no, they're just gonna oh. wait to upgrade it. They're just gonna oh, wait oh, to upgrade oh, it. Oh, oh he's oh. gonna pick it up! He's Flipping. gonna pick it up! One hit! Oh, he's gonna save him! He's gonna kill him! He got, him. He got, he got him. him! But he still right. got the bottle and now he's gonna shoot first yeah. blood. Oh. I actually think Fata came out ahead of that one, considering he dropped a warp behind it, he gave up first blood, and it, how long it took for him to get that. <laughs> and he got the bottle. Hey, but he's alive already. Yeah, he got the bottle anyway, so actually that's like not good. How did he not get the, the solve? I don't think it was his. Oh, okay. Look, if he had Nightmare, I'm just saying. Yeah, if he had Nightmare, there's no way he would have got that. No, I'm, I actually, he probably still would have gotten it. Well, no, no, no. They would have got the first blood already on top of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Been like a and the courier kill. Yeah. He wouldn't even be there. He'd be level like I mean, the courier wouldn't top lane. have been respawned. Right. So. Uh oh, oh TC. Giving a bit of go. Getting punched. Oh. Getting bolas. <laughs> I don't know why I call it bolas. I mean, they are bolas. They are actually bolas, yeah. But rename it, man. You have the power. Yeah. Fire bolas. Fire, fire bola. Fire, fiery bolas. Like searing chains sounds fiery so presumptuous, balls. you know. Yeah. How's it presumptuous? you with these chains. They're not even chains. They are. They're not. The bolas. They're bolas. bolas are not chains. Bolas are chains. Chain is no. literally a bola. No, I know, a bola but is not a chain. But you make bolas out of chain. No, no you don't. 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 What kind of bolas do you hang out with? Steel ones. 
That's no, like, Those are the shittiest bolas I've ever wait, heard of. Bolas are made let's, out of let's make a like, flail. It's like, a rope, rope and yeah. rocks. Yeah. yeah. It's not freaking chains. I know I'm made of fire. It's not bondage. Get out of here, man. Dyer's like, middle tower. For chains, you need attack. to have links. If you don't have links, yeah. it's not a chain. It's a rope. But you could have bolas made out of chains. No, man. No, that's not, not a bolas, man. That, that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good. Yeah, it was really good. I don't know why I left, but it was good. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we were talking about how the courier kill not worth. Well, honestly, Fata's eight and zero comparative to Koifa, who's twenty five and seven. Yeah. So, so worth, I guess. I mean, just the annoyance of him being there, I think, was worth it. I love the way he has like boots on a TP scroll in the base. He's like, I want to come on. No. I mean, he can't really go to the creep wave because Koifa has phase. Yep. So if he does, he's just gonna lose everything. Oh, he's gonna go lane. in. Yeah, they managed to kill the visage. Well, he just walked into Firefly to push the wave out, which I kind of get it. Oh, he's stacking with his illusions. Okay, well one of them at least. Mm -hmm. You can't actually stack that camp anymore. That it's so hard. It, it is, is like hard. ridiculously hard to oh, stack. I, I was trying to explain this to someone that it's like, every, I, I was like, okay, I'll try 52. If I try 53, I'll try 54. None of it ever works. Which way do you go? Does anyone know? I, I think, think the best way is to go to the right. Camp. Yeah. You go to the right up the hill. Yep. Yeah. Did you know that this camp here, this camp, if you cut down all the trees, the... Yeah, the shortest path is from the left. You can actually stack it like 14 times. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah Demon, yeah. bottom lane, gets the Gale, open wounds as well. Gonna try to Nightmare deny himself in fast for the kill. So actually picks it up, man. Oh, he made him right waste him fast. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's a way to look at it. It's not really that good of a skill. Pretty good. It's okay. Do you remember, was it here as a new earth where you infest and you could control the creep? Parasite. That's Parasite. Parasite. Right, he was a jungler. Let's yeah. not talk about that game. Why yeah. not? That thing was actually in balance. It like, was so funny and it, it ran really so quickly. Good. Imagine having an Ursa creep attack. at level 1, but the creep gets more movement speed yeah. and more, more damage. attack speed. And more attack speed. So you basically like go into it like an infest, but you control it. And then it gets like buff, like it gets it's more it's blood super blood. beef. So you just walk into the lane with like a super tomato, and, and you just yeah, and then like the shit out of people. The people like level one has to waste a lot to kill him, and when they kill him, you're still alive. You're in full, alive, full, full, full health. health. Yeah. yeah, and I mean you're a creep. You just but have the creep loses else. health over time. Yeah, when you're in it, I guess like having something inside of you controlling you hurts you or something. Mm. I wouldn't know. Well, wouldn't. you've never known Shane. Do you know what I like? I know everything. Okay. He does. I'm not even gonna doubt that. Like, right? <laughs> you were so convincing. <laughs> Bulba's taken to the jungle. And yeah, he has to. Helping. He can't stay bottom. Hey, but it's okay. He's like. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Almost this is like five. old school, man. It's oh like, oh no. yeah, I can't lane here. I'm oh no, but golems. golems. Wait, Don't make the kid in joke, please. God. Oh. Too soon, man. Too, Too soon. soon. R.I.P. Casper. R.I.P. Casper. Yeah, for people who don't know, we lost the kitty. Yeah. It was really sad, actually. Yeah. He was um, born extremely small. Yep. yep. He couldn't make it, man. So he, we named him Casper. Now he's a friendly ghost. He's watching over us. He'll always be in I our hearts, I think it's a man. good name. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so Boba, please don't die. That's the only thing I ask of you. Oh, he's, he's good. He's, he's grand. Good. Yeah, he's fine. He's grand. Why do you, like... It's a grand. <laughs> what is it? Say it. Say it one more time. No, it's just grand. Like it's grand. 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 It's just grand. The grand. 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 <laughs> <laughs> making up words. <laughs> it's really grand. It's grand. Uh -huh. Sounds more Irish. <laughs> that was terrible. It's really bad. <laughs> Never let an Argentinian do an Irish accent. Or any accent, really. Yeah. Yo, you were trying to do James' accent a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh my god. It was kind of abysmal. It's funny. All right, man. So I can't even do an Spa uh, like a Spanish accent. No, no. it's close to oh, Italian. Way too. This is a stampede, Miggle. By the way, he might actually go for the kill here. Oh, no, he he's decides not to. Wait, he's maxing stomp and not double edge. That's interesting. That's questionable. That's pretty mental. Oh, oh here comes the stampede. Oh, they go for oh, nice tornado. Trying to get here for the hex or shackle. He secures the regen rune though. That's ah, big. Regen secured. Hmm? Stampede for regen, I suppose. <laughs> he has uh, Midas now though on a hooker. <laughs> Yeah, he's crazy farmed. At eight minutes, went face boots and... You skip. could say he won his lane. I I would say that. Well, Sock also won his lane against yeah. nobody, so he also got a Midas. I keep accidentally turning off my pad, Why guys. Did you turn How do you do it? Radiant's it's accidental because it like, went like this attack. and like grabbed it, but the power button is like, closest to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's that? I like how it has tape on it for some reason. 
Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe you should. It's probably a hiding a sponsor or hiding a ah. label. Could be. Oh, middle. Radiance top tower. Can you be dropping a quick fa? Realizing Quaswex and Boker with uh, Midas actually hits really fast. So you do take damage. Like right clicking is a thing with Quaswex and Boker. Mm -hmm. Is he going to go for two points in Invoke now? Next level? I think so. Um, Radiance no, I don't tower. think you get the second point of Invoke attack. until later. Really? Because you can go four quas. You go four quas with a better cold snap and you max wax, like for sure. And then by that time, I think you get it at like 12? I only get three quas. Really? Four yeah. quas? I when you get the four quas, you get the magic, you can't do anything with cold yeah, snap. Yeah, yeah. The cold snap reduction, like the mini stun. Like the minimum duration before you can have another mini stun gets shorter. The more points you, you have, you go to top. Get him scared away. Nothing's gonna happen now. Here comes charge. Yeah, way too. Extremely dead, I would say. On a scale of one to dead. Just a flesh wound. They got a flame Just break. A flesh wound, man. If you get flame break before his surge away in two seconds. Nah, he's out of there. He doesn't have lasso anyway. Like he uses lasso on the visage. Oh, the haste. Doesn't go for the invoker? Doesn't want he to? He can't. He'll get dispelled if yeah. he goes in. Yeah, he just tornado. Yo. Yo. Nado. What a powerful spell. It is. Good ability, man. It is totally legit. And Demon. He's leaching experience, man. He needs attack. it. He was level 2 like 2 minutes ago. So he was like stacking the jungle for Volvo, but now he's just been like, I'm gonna go to the offlane, guys, because I need experience. It's mm -hmm. good, though. My head. Wait, cheek. <laughs> you must not scratch. <laughs> At TA2, it was uh, the, one of the reasons why, and correct me if I'm wrong, Lumi, one of the reasons the Chinese teams were really, really good is because they were giving so much to their support as well. Like back then, everyone Radiance was like, well, support have to sacrifice just attack. white wards and be level 3 10 minutes into the game. And two years later, we see all teams just giving stuff to their supports, making them relevant even later into the game. Yeah, Chinese are the best. <laughs> <laughs> what? How is that even relevant to what he just said? You're just no, like... No, he's just saying... No, they're so good. They're like the best. Yeah. No. I'm agreeing no, with that. Nice. Yeah, I'm agreeing with Bruno here. Gale's gonna hit on one, and here comes the surge! Bye-bye, Gale. Look at the damage, but it's gonna be a flame! Oh, no. Whoa! Yeah, he's still dead. I mean, that was a really nice join of the lasso, oh, but now the lasso is just going to get used on way too anyway, so <laughs> he's, the bird he's not going to be having the greatest time. So assumption going to do a little bit of damage, we'll die to the fire. Sigma's playing really, really well, and I think if he didn't actually have that high Dyer's level of us, who stopped? Maybe uh, TC would have survived longer for another side of this? No. I don't think he was dropping pretty quick. Yeah, I think he was dead either way. Going good. At least doing a lot of damage upon the top. It's gonna be a hex going oh around no, the invoker. Quickfa trying to go in the invis. They have oh, detection. So yes, they do pop. Drops an Ether Shock. And they also have the wards under the tower. This tower is dropping fast. It's coming in with Bobo. No mech monitor. He can soul ring. Yeah. Dyer's nice. bottom but yeah, they get the tower. They're very nicely done by Sigma. Drums up with Lifesteader with a Honda Virus. And face boots. 12 minutes. It's pretty fucking fast. I'm a bit surprised Quake for TP didn't like that, honestly. Dyer's like, middle tower typically when you see attack. mass everyone wards go down, you just say, okay, we're gonna sack the tower, you know? Mm -hmm. Because Way2 wasn't there, he had already died top, and typically you need like two or three ranged heroes there to be able to right-click the wards down, because you don't want to send in a melee, because he just gets eaten alive. So, I don't, I don't really know about the decision to TP there. I mean, he didn't calculate his mana wrong or anything, he had enough mana to use his spells, he just died because they had detection. Mm. So... Okay, so TC went for the Ring of Aquila. Mm -hmm. Do you still go drums before going Battle Furies or like big items? Or are you just like, okay, I have an Aquila. That's all I need Dyer's in terms of mana. Tower is under um, attack. It's hard to say. I think if he plans on fighting more, then the drums is probably a better choice. If you can manage to get a Battle Fury and just be like unobstructed for like 10 minutes, suddenly the game gets really hard for Sigma because Sleight of Fist is one of the best abilities to defend high ground or even towers, really at any stage, just because of how big of an area it actually covers. Mm -hmm. And it can still hit in fog, which is ridiculous, but... Does it hit invis units? No. 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 It hits in fog, but it does Please, not hit no, invis. don't give ideas. Sleight of Fist now hits invisible units, Aghanim's upgrade, now global. <laughs> you know I can't answer that. <laughs> I played the fit. <laughs> <laughs> global Sleight of Fist wouldn't be bad, I don't think. I think that'll be balanced. What? You just press W on the well. Kill everyone. <laughs> oh my god. But like a Zeus ult. Yeah, but Battle Fury wouldn't be that good on them then, because you know, they're so far away. Yeah, then attack. you just mass rapiers. Actually, rapier uh, on 
Ember, Ember is, is very good. Yeah. yeah. No, it's actually not that good. No, it is good. Well, because he plays the same. Yesterday kind of... we saw Ember trying to <laughs> battle fairy regular against his 40. Oh, oh TC, really, really nice use of the flame spirits there. Barely dodges oh, another okay. last one. Massacre wards are already down. They're going to use the Stampede as well, but Vata actually dies here. Fiend's grip on the Miggle as well. Demon still alive for the time being, but Sakshir going to town. Looks like Sigma actually want to abandon this hitting the tier one. Paws gets the kill, but they lose three for it. Lost their mid and their offlaner, and Paws as well. So Liquid, they take honestly an okay fight, but they did lose their tier one. That remnant from TC was beautiful. Like Wait to the invest bomb on the bottom 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 bottom. Bottom. I don't know why they don't pick uh, TC Ember Spirit a little bit more. Do you know that TC is ring number one? And that would have went so much worse for Liquid if they had caught TC. Yeah. yeah. Like it would have went so poorly. I mean, he gave them all of the disable as well as uh, the damage follow up. Like this hero is just ridiculous. Yeah, he's good. Good hero, man. Yeah. And good now, hero. guess what? He's gonna regen a little bit, mana, and go back. Full. I heard it's pretty cool to never spend any time in the base. Mm-hmm. Does anyone still know? I, I, I think I made the same question last week. If you have a spirit in the fountain, mm -hmm. and then you pop a spirit next to you, you go to the spirit that's next to you, you go to the one in the fountain first. You oh, should you get, get regen. You, you should. Does your bottle get filled? Is that's that your bottle saying? get filled? I don't actually know. I've never tried it. People on Twitter answer that question. Help. Help. Because it's an important question. I don't play them that much. There used to I'm be, uh, is this book still in the game where if you're infested as life stealer, you can just put the items from your inventory, in, in like from your stash into your inventory? Uh, no. No, you can't anymore. That <laughs> sounds a little bit wonky. Yeah, it was because... You just infest and get stuff from the base? Yep. Yeah, that, that was overpowered. But they, that wasn't that long ago. It was only like three weeks Dyer's ago. Or so. Yeah, but... Oh, tornado. Fatra, not going to be able to block away from tower. this one. Cold Sam's there. Attack. He doesn't even have a team to back him up. Damage. He just gets flattened. Hmm. Was he expecting that... You know, if he gets in trouble, the Blink Dagger or Stampede's gonna get him out of there. Well, neither was used, so... Well, you can't Dyer's Blink after you get Tornado. Yeah. So. I, don't I, remember, I remember the days where you can. So you go on Sanjin Yashi, yeah? On Lifestealer. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Especially against Quaspex Evoker. You're never catching that lad, though. Well, yes, well, Stampede. If you, if you maim him. If you you maim open him. wounds, and then you hit him with your Sange, and then bam, he's super slow. <laughs> What do you guys think that uh, TC is going to be going for? He's got 2200. He might go Maelstrom or something. Mm. I think Maelstrom is kind of okay. Because it kind of guarantees that you'll get one Maelstrom with your Sleight of Fist. If I the hate Maelstrom. It's okay, but the, th the problem that I have with it is that there's an internal cooldown. So mm. you can't really double Maelstrom. He has Darkseer on his team. He has to go Battle Fury. Yeah. I think that's the game. Like, that, that was the well, plan. he doesn't have to go it now. You can always yeah. go a little bit later on. You need three. Do you need three? Yeah, you need, need three, three, and then Daedalus. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so and then right. everyone is literally there. Well, if he was going for Battle Fury, he should have Perseverance, or at least one of the blades by now, so... Maybe uh, he wants to hide it. Yeah, it's a stealth. stealth he could just here. do what Danny does and just go BKB. Seems to work for him. I like. I was watching him play, and it was like, why is he buying BKB? Like, he would go drums BKB every game, and then he would just own, and I'm like, hmm. maybe it's legit, man. I was wrong. It's well, a game-winning I mean, item. He's a... He's a... Fighting hero, because he's a fighting item, tornado is gonna hit. Oh, he comes. He's a mana master. Oh, he's he's dead. Not a mana master. Oh, that's a gem. Wow. What's with them dropping gems? What initiation coming out for Miggle. The thieves are getting rained down. TC trying to make it out of there. He's still from the right. Another oh, jump. Joined. He's still alive. Demon's gonna get picked down. Not before he drops the urn. Three stacks up on TC. Fought to blink on cooldown. He Does he want it? Yes, he does. And the fight of fist trying to get them stunned. But the big flame break from Fata. The gem gets redropped. The Fata picks it back up. And uh, Sog. Seven magic one charges on Ember Spirit. And Quickfire had four staff up the whole time. By the way, um, Fire Remnant does not disjoint. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah, afterwards. It right, yeah. Um, what a play, though, honestly, for Miggle. Like, that's another one of those situations where I feel if they were allowed to get that gem for free and there was no Radiant's reaction by Sigma, they would have been in such a bad attack. spot. <laughs> because there would have been like another tier one push, they might have tried to go mid or something like that, and then Liquid just assume full map control, get Roshan. So that was like dodging a bullet, really, if you're Sigma. Yeah. You know, I'm very, actually very impressed with this Max Hoof Stomp build. Like the damage is not there, because, you know, Double Edge just does give you the damage, but 
He's just playing as like a counter initiator of sorts. For what? Yeah. Like for the 0.75 stun duration? Well, I mean, it's almost a full second more duration, which can be. For four and you're hitting though. and you're hitting it on but three damage as well. Three units, three four units. It still scales in damage, but it doesn't scale as well as damage as obviously double edge does. Yeah. But I think the other thing too is that if you're going in and you don't have a hood and you double edge, you actually just like crush yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> like 400 damage. It's it's ouch. Ouch. Hmm. I don't know. I still prefer the the one in that and max the double edge. I'm all about the deeps. All about the deeps. I can respect that. I mean, I think in other games that might be better, but in this game where you're not actually reliant on to dealing the damage, like for example the the shadow shaman, the uh, life slayer, that they're the guys that's doing the damage. So mm -hmm. you just want to stun and, and lock them down for them. I think. I have two people on Twitter: two six zero two and Stephen. Oh, say, middle. Like mad. The fiend's great. And then he gives the jump again. Oh, yep. No. Just no. Oh, no. He comes in. What? He gets the lasso, but it's gonna be on Bulba. Pops a stampede. Try to get farther away. Tornado gonna be off the mark there from Koikva. Here comes another blink in stop from Miggle. It's gonna hit on two. War trap on Koikva as well. He's gonna be the first one to drop on the side of Liquid. Now Miggle gets earned very low on health on the high ground. Bulba's also quite low. Oh, nice. nice. Nice searing chains there from TC. Using the side of fist from the high ground. There's an infest on Avata that they want to go back in on this. It could be dangerous. Maybe they just want to go back to base. Who has the gem? I don't know who picked it up. It's going to be on liquid way too. Okay, nice. so Visage has it, which Why? is a good choice. I mean, I understand giving it to Saw because, you know, he has the D ward with the Serpent Wards, mm -hmm. uh, but... Oh man, the, ve the Venom Ward. Dyer's you mean fucking bad? Yeah. 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 I was like, wait, Sakshar's not playing Venomancer? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Or Venomancer? Effing, effing bad. Venomancer. Yeah, by the way, the button does me feel. It does. When you go back to base. Okay, cool. The, yeah. That's good to know. I'm not a scummy Ember Spirit picker, so I wouldn't know. Are you an Earth Spirit picker? Hell no. I only have him as a loading screen because it looks cool. I know, he does. You know what also looks cool as a loading screen? What? The Dream League one. Uh -huh. Yeah. You buy the actually, actually, for people that I don't know, um, that's interesting that you say that because that people are asking. Uh, that's not like the loading screen that people are gonna get. Oh. That's the loading screen for the tournament, which is really cool because it's like you go and watch any tournament and you have this default loading screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You watch the Dream League and you get like a Dream League thing. That's pretty cool. Like yeah. You're watching the Dream League, um, but that's not going to be in your inventory because I, I mean. As much as it's cool to see when you watch a Dream League game, the Dream League loading screen, I'm not sure if people want to have a Dream League loading screen whenever they're playing their own games. I guess right. that sounds kind of weird. So there's going to it be It just a has to be like a neutral loading screen. Invisibility. And actually, speaking of items, since there's a lot... Interrupt me if something's happening, but... Um, I was talking to Danidan yesterday, who's Radiance making the hub. Bottom tower and is under you know, one of the uh, things about Radiant the hub is that it fortified. changes from day to night. Really? Yeah. So we do. Oh, oh let's I'm about to interrupt you. Nito. Get inside. Yeah, there's an infest. I heard it, man. I don't right. want blood. They oh. got the stampede. Looks for TPs, but they're not going to be any over there. Liquid's out of that garden. No, they actually want to re-smoke, re-engage. They're going to walk up a ramp in doing so, but they're not going to run into anybody. Centaur is going to be the target, but Centaur, never mind. He's got that invisor, and he might break the smoke. Oh, but there is a gem no. available. You got to oh. keep in mind. They're going to run through one south to the right side. The birds. <laughs> TC. He sees him. He, no, 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 no. He doesn't no. see him. Nighttime, nighttime. It's gonna break. Blink back out, and here comes Miggle with the stomp. It's gonna hit him way too, way too again. Has the gem. Back him onto the wall, and they just now Fata blinks back in, but he didn't lasso anybody. He's dropping quite low. There's a hex on TC. He's gonna be fine as well. Miggle on the backline pass. He wants to right click everybody. Wants to back the wall. There's a soul assumption to his face. Retreat time here for Sigma. They need to run away from this tier one tower and sack that thing. Pass? Pass? Uh, what? pass? Um, what are you doing, buddy? It's not safe. <laughs> over there that's bear country he goes in on demon i don't even know why there's actually a reach in here on the low ground as well four step forward from Bobo. he's actually going to live through the open wounds and Sakshko wanted to keep chasing there, but he realizes, man, everyone in Liquid's alive. I just can't do it. They still have Lasso. Blink, force that forward for the Lasso. Wait, <laughs> still got Tornado. Oh, it does Tornado uh, here. Have open. Oh, what a mech. Attack. And a Surge. Yep. Beautiful. That was a crazy team fight. No. That blink away was really nice, actually, by Poss. And then, <laughs> like, at the end of the fight, he's like, ah, you can kill me, it's fine. The EMP I'll as well back in. Uh, made Miggle have, like, no mana to cast his ulti. So yeah. Thank you. I think it's really good though for Liquid to c continue to force fights like that because when the Shadow Shaman is forced to drop his wards defensively, that's like the worst feeling in the world. Because you want to be able to go in and drop him for a tower like they have been doing for like the tier Radiant's 1 bottom, bottom and the tier 1 mid. But they can't do that if the uh, fight gets forced. And now Miggle blinks in, tempting and deny. Oh, no. Tornado from Koikpa, he's going to get cold snapped. 
Well, well, I don't think the grip was necessary, but they're gonna cold snap on a Fata instead. This cold snap wasn't actually used after all. Bulba, he gets four staffed into the woods oh, here on the bottom. Sacha going for yet another kill, but he infests into the range creep that's just gonna die. Now he's trying to panic retreat here. Another lasso comes out from Fata. He finds Bulba, will be able to get the kill. Soul Sun Trooper way too doesn't actually quite secure that. He quite gets it with an EMP. Soy Fist hits on three. Searing Chains on cooldown for one second. They're gonna be able to get fucking mad for free. Hmm. What? Some serious team fight from Liquid here. Yeah, Liquid are starting to kind of pull ahead though with their fighting, I think. Yeah, I don't think neither team have insane team fight. Well, never mind, take that back. The, that vacuum wall earlier in the team fight just before this one, yeah, where it just yeah. caught two and the centaur as well as I believe it was like the Venom Answer, it just absolutely melted. So, Boba making the big place once again. And those EMP Tornado, like you guys have been talking about, is just making it so hard for Sigma to position themselves. Mm -hmm. And the multiple force staff just says, hey, Life Stealer, you ain't doing anything. Yeah, he can't actually stay on a target. I think he has to go pretty much straight Abyssal if he wants a chance at well, like, killing staff anyone. Well, Force Staff doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Really. Yeah, it make, doesn't make a difference. No, but I mean, like, if he goes into a fight and that one Force Staff is down, because they only have two. They have a Force Staff on Quickfa and they have a Force Staff on Bulba. So if he and sees sort of a Force... Surge, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Surge doesn't get you away from Abyssal. I think you just like, want as much damage as possible of, of the hits that you do get. Well, it's the I guess same... I guess the, yeah, the same reason. Same but, reasoning, yeah. yeah. If they can't move, you can hit him. If you can dodge an abyssal, <laughs> you can dodge a ball. All right, he is going to be going for abyssal. At least a basher for now. Here comes a big smell gang. I think. I think the problem, maybe not so much a sock not be not being able to stick on a target, is the bat rider hasn't been able to lasso anybody to start these fights. Well, he fights. keeps going for TC, and TC always manages to get away. So maybe just go for the dark seer or go for the invoker. You know? Yeah, I agree. If you have Stampede, and you know that you can go for any hero basically but TC, TC has a Deso. Like, it's a naked Deso that's not really that farmed, right? Like, sure, it does a little bit of damage, but if you can get a guaranteed kill on Koikva, maybe before he throws out Tornado EMP, then the rest of your team has mana, and you can just go ham. Yeah. You know? Now now it feels like you have to go on Koikva, because he has a Cypher Vice, so yeah. if you don't go on him, he's going to Cypher you, you're going to be in trouble. If you do go on him and you get the kill before he Cypher somebody, that's a big win for the team, so... They have the mech on Darkseer as well though. It's gonna be hard to kill him on all the four stuff. Like Darkseer can save him pretty well with four stuff and mech. Yeah, it's gonna be all reactionary Dota though, right? Mm -hmm. Like whoever gets the, the better counter initiation. And vacuum against the uh, bot rider is actually so good if you can vacuum him just as he ulties the target there. Yeah. The lasso. What happens if you blink in and then you get hexed and then you get forced into the other team? And then yeah. how sad would you be at that point? Just start crying. Yeah, <laughs> just take your hands off the keyboard. Man, that is 450 gold away from a uh, completed Agonims on way two. Yeah. It's going to be some, some serious trouble. I mean, Liquid's, you know, feeling comfortable. They're getting up some big items. TC is going to be up to his next damage item fairly soon. The Cypher Vice just got picked up. Demon even got a Ghost Scepter, so that Life Stealer, yeah, it's going to just get shut down. Mm -hmm. Does Bat Rider even need any more items? Like, next item is BKB, and then he's, he's done. Like, that's the thing I love about Bat Rider. See how quick he is. To go back to what I was saying before, lots of team fights happen. People that are going to uh, be waiting for the HUD. Uh, the HUD has an item they skim the changes, oh, and Bat Rider gets away. Uh, and the night and day, I don't want to spoil it right now because it's going to get finished maybe today or tomorrow. CC. But it has to do with. Uh, like the night day scheme will have to do with a certain hero couple that people really like. Damn, Sven and Crystal Man. Tide and Kunkka, boys. What? Something like that. Could be either of those, could be someone else. Hmm. Day and night. One Cent of those OTP. Centaur and Enchantress. <laughs> <laughs> the what? classic. Y you made me think what? of it. No, no. Yeah, the jungle people. The jungle the people. The jungle people. Yeah. What do you mean the jungle people? Well, they're both from the woods and they're both like half man, half mm -hmm. horse. You no, know, one's a horse, one's the a deer. donkey. A donkey. I don't know. <laughs> it it depends on if you think of like. If it's like metaphorical night and day or if it's literal night and day. Because well, like I Omni could be day and. A bad one could be night. It's kind right? of metaphorically. But okay. the, the color scheme of both heroes actually do fit night and day. I actually know the answer, so I can't. Yeah, no, I don't actually know what I it is. I don't know either. Uh -huh. So oh. that's why I'm saying. I'm good no on time. No tells me anything. I, I think it's probably, if not the Radiant's favorite, I think it's the favorite, but attack. I'm most second favorite OTP of Dota 2. OTP. From what I've, OTP one true one pair. True pair. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Today I learned. So people are going to be happy when they see it soon. I thought it was then I learned. 
Or is it today I learned? Today I learned. Could it just be both? It could be both, yeah. What's the other thing? Then I learned. Then I learned. I learned. Okay. Then I learned sounds like a story. Today I learned. Yeah, but it sounds like it's in the moment, right? Like you're there with the person. All right, Fata, today. is he going to be doing the big... Yeah. Big he's done steal. it before. He only done it when he's drugged up. So maybe he, he needs... What? <laughs> yeah, he was on medication it. because he had like a, a surgery. surgery. Yeah, surgery. surgery. He doesn't get surgery every day. <laughs> maybe he's still on medication. Could be. But no, they're going to give away... has uh, fallen to the diet. I think Ever Spirit is a lot like Storm <laughs> Spirit with the Aegis. Like he uses all his mana and like can punish it. But you don't get the remnants back when you respawn. What? Do, do you? No. No. Ember no. Spirit. No. Yeah. No. You so, don't. But you still go to them. Mm -hmm. What Sorry, if I? Ends. It's all right. I totally lost track because now I'm thinking of like what was the one true pair, and now I'm just like totally sidetracked and. I'm just like checked out, man. Like, you just made me think about this now, and it's gonna bug me. You're gonna see it, you can like it. can show you. Probably when we get home, the Oh man, look at that damage. Oh, Sunking and Nyx. Radiant's middle tower has That's fallen. Hot. It's pretty hot. That's like the bug couple, man. Yeah, yeah. It'd be beautiful together. <laughs> Where does Weaver fit in all that? No, he, he was the last year's man. Weaver's just off in the corner. Crying. Sad. What about Venom and some Viper? Nah. One of them flies. How are one of those day and night? Like even metaphorically speaking, they're both nice. Ah, you guys are just naming heroes now. Radiant structures are fortified. Okay, so what does Sigma do at this point? Like, so you need to have a lasso on like Boba at this point, because on or Koifa still is a good target. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, TC's gonna have a Lincoln soon. So once he has Lincoln's initiating on him, it's gonna be very Forget TC, because he's got Aegis as well. Just forget about him. Yeah, don't worry. He does no damage. Just walk it off, you know. Dyer's top tower is jungle? I think a little bit late about boarding his jungle. Don't be silly. It's never too late. Yeah, I think you just need one of these team fights where you pick off one of the hyper crowd control in the form of Invoker or Darkseer, and then you just try to row. Row. He's going to Shiva. He's going to be pretty tanky pretty soon. He's already tanky. Yeah, but if Shiva's on top of this? He's got a mech, yeah. And the Abyssal's done now on Sakshika. So he's got some lockdown potential. Could maybe get in and hit somebody more than like two or three times before they get surged away or forced out. Hopefully. It's hard to say. Oh, Fata's got a haste. He's still got Firefly on. Does he actually see way too? He sees the he babies. He sees the babies, yeah. It's good. There's a lot on Miggle's shoulders, to be honest. If he can get a good uh, stun, it could attack. make the, a big difference, to be honest. Because they need that AoE stun just to change the team fight, I think. You know what, Bruno, you have to take my chair. I can't sit here anymore. Well, okay. No, I mean, like, I can hold this, okay, but I can't that's sit. Okay, fine. But I'm holding it for you now, so you can uh, stand up. Oh, uh, panic. Okay I, okay, I know, I know. Invoker and anti-mage. What? OTP. So Invoker's day, I guess? No, oh, anti-mage's day. What? what? How what? is that a thing? Invoker's a dick. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the, the anti mage says no fun allowed. <laughs> he's saying he's not Have a dick. Have you heard what Invoker says? He's like the only person in the game, apparently, according to Invoker. <laughs> oh, really? Like the rest are just yeah, like... Yeah, they don't even matter. Drowned in a sea I, I of like his clothes. Those who stand beneath me stand briefly. Yeah. That's like a really cool quote. Something that I could imagine, like... I mean, he's a high elf. Dagger. Don't they have, like... I'm the master race, that kind of thing. Yeah, they love themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not a blood elf in this. Blood elves are from the other. I don't remember. Yeah, we're actually not even allowed to say. We're not. We have to say blank Dyer's elves. Yeah. Are fortified. Blank elves. Blank mm -hmm. elves. Like blanket elves. Something like that. Blanket elves. <laughs> they hide in your blankets Dyer's to come out. Okay, Fasa wants this initiation. So. What? 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 what, what? actually goes in. He just gets a free kill on Koss. Yep. No words to be had today, and the last one actually gets used into the Lincoln, so they're not going to have it for this team fight. Hex is up. Oh, where's the grip? Abyssal, oh. gotta fight your way out of there, but there's a Hex, and oh here comes gosh. a Fiend's grip. Oh, no. Or not a Fiend's grip. Brain sap. Yeah. <laughs> I just fell. It's okay. Don't fall, please. I'm okay. Okay, oh, Miggle just died. Yeah, Miggle! So Miggle! Miggle! No, well... Um, okay. And a lot of people say that the birds are countered by Centaur as well. Yeah, but his level of return is really low. Yeah, it's only level 2. Yep. And he doesn't have any strength. And he has some. Okay, Fanta is like <laughs> ultra dead. No. Yeah, yeah, GG. GG, yeah. GG. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm not really surprised. I will say that Sigma played this better than I think the previous matches in the Dream League, but I will also say that they let it get a little bit far away from him, and I don't agree with the Lifestealer pick, like, at all.
there was two team fights in the bottom lane that kind of threw us behind the works. They were doing really well on Tinder and they lost that gem like twice or three times. They I just don't get the purpose of the life stealer in this lineup. Like, what is he meant to do? Yeah, they picked it into a Bane and a Darkseer, which they and an Ember Spirit. Dude, and they, an Ember they don't even have a strength hero.